<laughs> Lots of people like to soup up their cars, but some go much further. Stephen Hooper is one of those people. He's known for using cars as his canvas. This is the music car, the convertible, and the Liberace car. It's covered in fur and sequins. I generally put contact cement on the car, then cover it with the material, and then I uh, used silicone glue to glue the heavier things on. And it's really solid, nothing's gonna fall off. But it holds up pretty good. Car artists can be found all around the country, but until recently, most of them thought they were alone. Arizona artist Harrod Blank is trying to change that. He's been tracking down art cars for years, putting artists in touch with each other and documenting their work. Pretty much what I'm doing with my life is uniting these people because they're spread out across the country in these little pockets and they don't know about anybody else that does this. They're kind of in a vacuum. And when Harrod went around the country looking for people, he found them here and there, and most of them didn't even know there were other art cars. There's uh, 200 bells on the van, so you can imagine when I'm going down the road, it's a very nice sound. Um. The California Fantasy Van is an art car legend. It took Hunter's godfather 22 years to build it, and it has $15,000 worth of coins and 5,000 brass objects fused to it. It weighs 10,000 pounds. While he was building this, there really wasn't a contemporary word bling. This was just his way of showing some flash and getting a lot more attention than people who have a $300,000 Ferrari. There aren't many people who build one art car. It's kind of addictive. Hoop keeps undoing and rebuilding his cars. Right now I have uh, about 10 cars, some in driving condition, some deteriorating, and some being rebuilt. In an old car like this, I'm totally tearing it apart. And uh, you know, I have to rebuild the woodwork like a king's car. These vehicles really have the person's soul in them. If you don't want to deal with the public and get questions and get attention, don't make an art car because everywhere you go, you're in the public eye. It's sort of like being a celebrity. Yo, remember this? How they put that up there with crazy food? Look at the TV. The art cars stopped traffic in Newark, and people offered the usual questions. How many cameras are on there? And how did you get them on? And does it drive? There are 2,700 cameras on there, in case you're wondering. And yes, many of them work. Harrod says the camera van fulfills a boyhood dream. It's like being in a spaceship. And then when you look out the window and you see all these faces looking at you like you're an alien, it, it kind of completes the vision. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs>